Rashi colors are to be used in remedies. Colors are for remedial purpose. Classics of astrology are very clear. If you want to remedy Aries, worship the god in a metal which is red in color, copper. So have a copper idol of the deity and worship it. Alternatively, according to my experience, if you want to remedy Aries, which is red, here is the table, if you have forgotten it. If you want to remedy Aries, which is red in color, you can donate red clothes, you can give red flowers to the deity, you can wear red colored clothes, you can paint your wall red, whatever you want to do with red. Multiple uses you can give. Red grains, red food items, red sweets, red clothes, red flowers, and all these things. Red notes, 2000 rupees. That all you can do for the remedy of Aries. Okay. So this we have already explored about. And what thing red you find in your area, you do it yourself. Sir, one small query. If the Rashi is afflicted or negative for you, wearing more of that color, does it not damage you further uh, uh, or does it appease that? Ah, this is a very good question, Ketanji. I should come to this point. You know what? Once a Bengali was consulting me. Okay, inquisitive Bengalis are very inquisitive. You know, for this particular reason, I love them. <laughs> they ask you questions; they have to bend your mind. So I told him, "You have this problem. Donate a red sweet." So then he messages me three days after consultation, "Sir, what red sweet?" I said, "Donate red laddu." He was like, sir, we don't find laddu in our area. You don't find laddu in Bengal or what? So that time I understood that never give a standard remedy to the person, tell them to find what is red in their area, whatever. Now see, there are two concepts in remedial purpose. Pacification and making it powerful. These are two particular approaches. Let me be honest with you. There is one opinion <laughs> from 50s, 1950s, 60s. There are two, three opinions, right? Let me be honest with you. Let me tell you, tell you the result, then we'll talk about experience. Earlier, 50s, in 50s, there were three thoughts. If you want to make a planet powerful, wear the gemstone. Don't wear the gemstone of a bad planet because you don't want to make the eighth lord powerful. At the same point of time, there was a class of astrologers who believed that if you are running the Shantra, the Shah of Rahu, wear the gemstone of Rahu. Now you are not deciding Rahu is good or bad. You are running the Dasha of the 8th Lord, we are the gemstone of the 8th Lord. Then there came the third opinion, disease. If you are suffering a suffering disease related to piles, gastric issues basically, we are a tiger's eye. Now, this disease-based remedy, generally sub-gemstones were used. Substitute gemstones were used. So you, may, you can say that substitute gemstones don't have effect, so they go into disease section. However, if gemstones have effect, of course, substitute gemstones also have effect, just a little bit less, but they have. Now, before wearing the tiger eye, which is very much similar to cat's eye, which should give results similar to Ketu, you don't check whether Ketu is benefic or not. Surprisingly, all the three opinions work. So what do you think? But I will give you another stuff. Nowadays with the influence of Lal Kitab astrology, we think that if you donate something, you get that thing out from yourself. Right? You get it out. When you donate something, you get rid of it. In earlier times, kings used to donate land. So they become what? Beggars. It was King Bali 
who donated land to Vaman and he was promised that you will become Indra in the next lifetime. So have you lost it or gained it? No. If you give money to the Pandit, you lose money. If you give food to God, you lose food. What are you doing? So my approach seems to go very simple into this department. Donation or whatever is considered a good karma is a good karma. And the giver prospers. Donation means you have it in plenty. This is equated with Shiva Linga more. Whatever you give to Shiva Linga, you get it back in ample amount. So whatever you donate, you get it back in ample amount. So for things related to finance, whenever you read Puranas, you see story of some poor person. Then they discuss why this person is poor. At the end of the story, you will listen. He was not donating. He was not giving money into charity. He was not giving money to worship. He was not giving money to beggars. He was not giving this. He was not giving that. So for money, donation. Because you know why king can donate a land. I will tell you, donate a land, you cannot. You tell me, I also can. Because very few properties we have, how can we donate it? But if you are king of complete North India, you can donate Merit to someone, okay. So we have complete North India that is around 3000 kilometers. If I donate you 10 kilometers, what happens into that? Nothing, that's fine. Getting my point. So when you have things in plenty, you donate it. For finance related issue, donation should be taken into consideration, okay. For <clears throat> now another aspect of it is the diseases <clears throat> Our problems are categorized into three categories, Daihik, Daivik, Bhautik. You will remember the name, okay? Daihik means bodily. Bodily means bodily pain, bodily suffering, bodily weakness. What you say, disease. Now diseases goes into two categories, internal disease such as brain hemorrhage, external disease such as Corona, whatever. When it comes to bodily things, things related to body such as disease, etc. Wearing is more important. In wearing, you can choose clothes of the color, gemstones. <laughs> However, gemstones have more qualities. Gemstones are more useful as compared to the clothes of that particular color. Right? But still, if you wear same colored cloth for two, three years, then it is more powerful than a gemstone. However, but same colored cloth for two, three years is quite a task. And then you always have to wear it. So black shirt for office, black shirt for sleeping, black towel for bathing, it is quite a task. But still, because you understand the point. When you identify, how do you identify a policeman by their clothes? Not by their gemstones or anything. So whenever I say become like the planet, many a times what happens, the power is lacking because planet is good and you are not becoming like the planet. A Rashi is a good Rashi. You have to become like the Rashi. When there are two, three influences, one influence is good. We want to increase it. <clears throat> Other influences are bad. We want to decrease it. So what you have to do? Camouflage. Then you have to become like the planet. This is a very important remedy that I do myself. I don't recommend it to people. The strong remedies don't recommend. So when you want to have a good result of Jupiter, become Jupiter. Now to become Jupiter, Jupiter is a fat and you will not get a belly overnight. Once you get a belly, you will not like it. So leave the point. Other than that, Jupiter is 70 years of age. You will not become 70 years of age overnight. What you can best do is Jupiter indicate yellow colored clothes that you can have. Jupiter have a beard that you can have. Jupiter loves rosary. 
he wears a rosary he chants with the rosary so putting a rosary in your neck putting a rosary in your hands bracelet that you can do but this should be prominent enough that you become identified by that so a small rosary will not will not work you have to be chandra swami this long rosary you know fat one so people just identify that okay jupiter is coming so this is well done with clothes basically i do it for two things primarily when there are two three influences and we want to enhance a particular influence that is of a good planet we make our attire like the planet so strengthen mercury always clean shape because mercury is a prince always clean shape you don't see a prince with a mustache and a beard and king you always see with a mustache not with a beard if it is a hindu king then it is always with a mustache not a beard this is a particular reason every sun image you will see have a mustache and a sun image without mustache is not a sun image because king because king without a mustache is no king so things are related to that planet and added to that when there is a bodily deficiency or things are related to body disease etc then this wearing of clothes is recommended attire wearing of clothes etc okay this cloth point is very clear cloth attire the third thing is the donation of cloth so just a second back so basically out of the many things that you can donate cloth is the easiest donation today there is a very good thing with clothes you know what when you donate water water is signified by one planet clothes are categorized all planets signify clothes so i will come to planetary clothes rashi clothes so you know by the color of the rashi planetary cloth we will come to it donation seems to be cloth donation is the best stuff best thing that you can donate right now yeah bhai your mic is muted sir in the uh, part of attire jewelry also comes for women metal of a particular planet can be recommended to yeah, be worn yeah yeah can be recommended okay. for males also okay. metal can be recommended so coming to donation the donation of clothes is like almost the best donation see always understand a point donation of money is substitute donation when you want to donate something you cannot get the thing you are supposed to donate money so that's a substitute donation basically you have to donate a cow you cannot find a cow so you give money that is required to purchase the cow money is a substitute donation substitute for all type of donation so rather than donating a 100 kg gold image of rama give 1000 rupees that is fine right money is a substitute donation other than that donating land donating property donating hands donating body parts etc cloth donation is the best along with cloth donation there is a food donation so food according to the taste of planet you know there is a taste of planet astringent sweet etc for different planets you should know that so there is a food related to planet that you can donate there is a grain related to planet that you can donate and there are clothes related to planet that you can donate and these are three of the major donations the colors you already know about for every rashi right so colors you know the point is planet so let's come to them one by one what type of clothes sun indicate hmm so head covering sun with head torn 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 khata hua cheez torn clothes torn clothes this is a good point pinaki ji anyone else saffron orange clothes orange clothes okay anything else
uh, solid clothes like no print nothing on no. hmm single color deva amb agni vihar kosh shayan chiptur kesha kramat vastram sthulam bhukti agni grah kritam madhyam dridam sphatikam is the shloka basically so sun indicate coarse cloth jute type of cloth you know which is hard to touch it not very fine not very smooth type of a cloth that is what sun basically indicates so these type of rugged clothes jeans if moon is in leo namamsha you like jeans a lot you wear jeans a lot denim this is what sun likes when the sun goes into aries you have to take a red jeans oh my god red jeans is quite a difficult task but there is a red loop by levis if you find it you will find it or any coarse cloth for that matter right so sun indicate things as like jeans there are shirts made made out of jeans also i think nowadays so that can be taken now comes to moon moon indicate new clothes moon indicate new clothes that is recently purchased so any cloth is okay for moon so for moon you go by the color of the rashi only the cloth should be newly purchased that's the only or i will render say new clothes goes into the category of unstitched cloth extremely new just out of the mill fresh fresh okay mars indicate burnt cloth very obscene to give a burnt cloth to someone but basically it indicates leather right so mars indicate leather clothes things made up of leather after that mercury indicate wet clothes wet clothes that means which are just like wet wet clothes how do you understand wet clothes So washed and given. Washed and given is okay. Washed and given is okay. You take your clothes that you have worn for some time and wash it and give. That is good. There are you know things like this. Cotton things such as cotton which soak more water. You know what you wear in like all. It is almost a transparent type of a cloth that we generally summer wear that we do transparent type of cloth. This is what what goes into mercury department. linen things such as linen and this you know this type of clothes that goes into mercury department also clothes that you have worn for some time donating them goes into mercury this goes for rahu ketu as well clothes that you have already used rahu ketu wearing clothes that you have already used and ketu other clothes that you have already used bed sheets quilts curtains etc after that comes jupiter jupiter neither like new clothes nor like old clothes it is not new not old again used for some time so jupiter is generally like you wore a shirt for two times then you donate it right other than that i will tell you unstitched clothes also go into the category of jupiter or rather i will tell you clothes which have a high resistance to time a mixture of you know polyester plus cotton type of stuff 50 50 mixture goes with the jupiter okay then comes venus venus like any cloth basically so venus indicate good clothes venus basically it is told for venus that venus likes strong cloth now once again venus will go with a mixture of clothes which you generally do to make it strong but other than that venus is a natural significator of clothes right so any type of cloth goes with venus 
specifically you know not so traditional clothes rather go with venus right so you know extra clothes that you wear like jackets which are supposed to be open at all the times hats and all these things ornamental clothes rather come on luxurious clothes and fashionable ye to thode na luxurious clothes dene bhai donate nahi karna hota rakhna hota us so if you if if i have a luxury clothes i will keep it in my attic to show it to my child that you see this is so luxury ka clothes right so it is more like not so traditional like belts etc ornamental clothes basically you can say because see i think the concept of luxury somehow nowadays we understand the western luxury but however silk cloth is more luxurious than anything else but silk is not considered into luxury much for moon and venus for both silk goes well it goes for jupiter also for mercury cotton is fine cotton linen is good silk goes with moon and venus venus as a silk uh, stitched silk moon as a non stitched silk and because moon indicates cold so warm clothes are also in the department of moon venus basically indicate any type of clothes ornamental ones are good. which are very decorated like you know sarees of multiple colors multiple borders and all this thing because venus is quite artistic and also venus is told as very jaded in color this printed printed clothes you know printed shirts check shirt all these things the printed things are once again in the category of venus now saturn lastly indicate torn clothes torn clothes basically i will put recycled into it you know recycled clothes goes into the category of sat other than that once again rahu ketu thing right the clothes that you have used for some time restored it now rafu ki awa you know like stitched it again these things clothes after repairation restoration goes into the department of sat okay so these are the clothes that can be donated one of the greatest donation unnati madam sir ye abhi donation cloth donation ki baat chal rahi hai lekin socially hum log bahut baar kapde dete lete to wo donation mein count hota hai ya wo count nahi hota hum kapda lena dena bada kharab hai na lena chahiye dena chahiye par sir socially to karna hi padta hai jaise koi guest aaye to jab wo normal guests ke sath Then madam should be considered a donation. अच्छा. Gifting, gifting is the best form of donation, madam. Okay. कोई भी बलशाली शुक्र वाला दिखे तो उसको पकड़ा था सिल्क का कपड़ा. नहीं. Okay. Thank you. हाँ नहीं ये gifting जो है best form of it. Sir पूजा के पूजा के time में जैसे बंगाली इसमें दुर्गा पूजा में साड़ी gift किया जाता है माता को चढ़ाया जाता है तो ये क्या donation में count होगा? हाँ हाँ that will also be counted in donation. Okay. any type of giving gift giving giving it to pandit by ritual giving it to god goddess by ritual that all will be count, uh, counted in donation and donation of clothes make you like keep you out of trouble right so one was the donation another is food as a donation annadanam mahadanam once you donate the food there is nothing else that you need to donate so what food is indicated by which planet hmm hmm batao bhai sun indicates spicy food yes, what does mars indicate bitter bitter food sun is jaggery i think sun is jaggery etc okay uh, moon indicates salty food A moon indicates salty food. This is right. Sweet foods are indicated by Jupiter. Hmm. And acidic foods are uh, Venus. Acidic food are Venus. Why you put acid to Venus? Hmm. 
So like they say, curd uh, is related to Venus. Is it because of the color or because it's acidic? Salty. Not salty, tasteless basically. Tasteless food is basically related to Venus. Okay. Other planets? Hmm? Uh, Mercury is uh, all taste combined. Okay. Sir, Ra, for Rahu, they say dry coriander, sukha dhania, but I don't know it's true or not. I'm just telling you what I've heard. Okay. And uh, uh, then black dal for one of the planets. I think it's Saturn. Okay. Or till. Or black till. Ek bar kya hua? Me and my wife, we were at a restaurant. We were into this Taj Banaras. So we came out of the place where we were going. And I told the chef I was very confused about what to eat, what not to eat. So I told him ki, bhai, you suggest me what is best. He gave me this dhuye ki dal. Uske aad mera dhuwa nikal gaya ek hafte tak to. Please. <clears throat> Dekho, taste, we should go with taste. Not with a specific food. I think someone have made a list and you know this YouTube knowledge is coming at all of the place. But we should understand that astrology is universal. And maybe few people don't have coriander in their country. So what will they do? Right. So keeping that in mind, tell me. Hmm? Sun is pungent. Like Sun is pungent. Right, 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 Carolyn. Very good. Sun is pungent. Saturn is very oily food. Saturn, look, okay. Saturn is oily food. Good. And? Venus is very luxurious food, very uh, uh, sort of rich and, and uh, uh, you know, full of uh, uh, all... Uh, he and uh, curd and and uh, uh, anything related to curd would will be Venus uh, food. Okay. Mars is hot and spicy. Uh... Actually, sun indicates pungent, as Carolyn rightly said. Moon is salty. Mars is bitter. Mercury is a mixture of two three taste basically. Jupiter is sweet, Venus is sore, Saturn is astringent. Okay. And for Rahu Ketu, they go. Sabji go per se kaat ke doge to Rahu ka donation, Nietzsche se kaat ke doge to Ketu ka donation. Thik. For Rahu Ketu, there is nothing specific that is mentioned. All right. So we shall go with that for Rahu and Ketu, donate according to the Rashi Lord. Okay. Now, this is to taste. Right? And I think I should tell you a point. What I call, you know, stages, you should know that I put astrology classics into two, three categories, A grade classic, B grade classic, C grade classic, D grade classic, E grade classic, F grade classic. So A grade classics tell you taste. They don't tell you about the things. The C grade classic tell you about the things also. Thinking that Parashar ko thodi na pata tha chawal hota hai. Likhna bhool gaya hoga ham jada jaan gaye hai. But they were aware that you cannot get rice everywhere. So they told you the taste. What is the taste of sushi? If I give to you, if I, if I invite you at my home and give you sushi, what donation you will consider it? The Venus salt moon because there's only salt. The rice is also there. Mercury. 
Mercury, you can say nila. Mercury remedy for that, I have to purchase a plot in Japan. Right, so that's why we go with taste because then you have to see what you get in your area. I think European food is more taste diverse as compared to Indian foods. Whatever. Indian food is not taste diverse, Indian spices are. So in Indian yeah, food, you put some spices and make it diverse, whatever. Now coming to the part of it, sun, moon indicate grains basically. Now because moon soaks a lot of water, it, in, it takes rice. And sun indicate wheat. Okay. Now Mars, Mars goes with high protein food basically. So you can go with red meat, white meat, or if you are a vegetarian, you can go with pulses. Mercury is basically a mixture of all. So all those fruits which are hanging in between the category of being a fruit or a being a vegetable such as carrot <laughs> goes into the category of mercury. Like he is hanging between being a king and a remaining a prince. Right. So that food goes there. Jupiter indicate floor of unusual things. For example, you know, there is a rice floor. There is a floor made up of rice. All these unusual floors, like not the normal wheat, but all these other floors is signified by Jupiter. Breads are signified by Venus once again, soaks up a lot of water. Right. And finally, Saturn indicate those things which are which are born underground. Put it. Born underground, which you can also eat without cooking, goes in the category of moon. Born underground, which you cannot eat without cooking, such as potato, that goes in the category of Saturn. That's why Saturn indicates Kandamul. This Malayali is eat it a lot. Right? Now, what is Saturn? Saturn is the Lord of Love. Right? So, Saturn is the Lord of Love. Saturn is the Lord of Love. Saturn is the Lord of Love. Saturn Saturn is the Lord of Love. I should put it as a very strong, pleasing taste goes into Rahu and a very strong repulsive taste goes into Ketu. So strongly sour like a lemon. So lemon technically taken in large quantities is always repulsive. That goes into Ketu department. And what you like goes into the Rahu department, like cherries, you know, there's small things, which is sweet, that you generally like, goes into the Rahu department, okay? So the donation of food and the donation of cloth are considered best of the donations. Donations are for remedial purpose, specifically donation gives you money. Hmm? And coconut one. Coconut, Carolyn, coconut goes into the category of moon again. What a lot of water content. What should be the quantity of donation? Quantity of food. donation, Sanjayji. You talk about the food. Hmm? For the food. For the food. Yeah. Generally speaking, anything given to more than 10 people at once is a remedy. However, I think we should go with the degree of planet. 10 being the standard point. 1 degree planet, it should be 11. 30 degree planet, it should be 40. All of these people should take food at once. Like under 6 hours. 
right other than that in the matters of donation sanjay ji for the practical purposes what i generally recommend is i take a one one year time so 52 weeks and we take a week day for son donate wheat on sundays so one one kg of wheat donated to a temple every sunday for 52 weeks one year is what we will consider a sun remedy or supply someone or feed 10 people for 52 weeks if you are feeding people four months are enough because when you go to teach 10 people maybe more can come because the quantity is variable four weeks are fine four weeks is 16 weeks sorry four month is 16 weeks like four weeks per month so this is what i generally go with so this was the bhautik remedy okay bhautik remedy means remedy bhautik means what is needed to survive in this world remedy is related to that money related remedy goes into bhautik remedies that is donation of food donation of cloth or donation of anything related to the planet for example venus indicate bedroom so anything related to bedroom is a venus donation added to that venus indicate spring so you can donate it on spring month two months of spring if you want to donate a big bed so you cannot donate 52 beds in a year so one bed donated in spring is fine other than that if it is a small remedy done every friday so that depends on the intensity of the remedy right if you donate 52 beds to someone who will take it where he will keep all the 52 beds right in the same manner for sun because sun indicate temple things related to temple you can donate for sun and for sun the donation is best done in summer months so is for mars mars indicate handicap you know so whatever physical aid that we use tools signified by mars for moon whatever is needed in you know moon indicates a house a house you know a homely woman or a homely man for that matter is signified by moon and moon indicate water bodies so if you are donating things around water body this is a moon related remedy other than that moon indicates a home and everything that comes into a so anything related to the use purpose of home specifically moon indicates sleeping moon gives you good sleep so things related to sleeping but there is things related to bedroom that comes in the venus department also all right so things for home except for sleeping such as sofa which is for sitting goes into the moon department best donation for moon is done in rainy season so when it is raining when it is a rainy season now once again the concept of rainy season depends on countries many countries don't receive a rainy season at all so okay yeah bye so electrical appliance will come under what like which are used in the house to buy electrical appliance donation to be honest is not a concept but still if we want to donate it we can take it in the mechanical objects which are used by humans to you know help themselves right because earlier you used to employ two people who will do you know who will put air to you they will they will be you know that that they will be doing that pankha for you then you get a fan so go should go into mars category now for mercury things related to children should be donated for mercury specifically donation to relatives are related to mercury you know so you know someone in your relative is not able to get their children educated and you help them this is a very good mercury remedy this should be done at the starting off starting of this cold starting of winter seasons before winter season starting of winter season is 
Mercury. Winter season is Jupiter. Extreme winter is Saturn. Okay. Now for Jupiter, things related, things related to reading, writing, education, learning books, whatever, are for Jupiter. Added to that, things related to temples are also for Jupiter. Things related to spiritual sadhana, etc. All of these things are related to Jupiter. You know, the people, this is con people distributing Bhagavad Gita are basically doing a Jupiter remedy. So they have a strong faith in Guru because they have a good Jupiter. Right. The Jupiter donation at in winter. Right. For Venus, anything related to bedroom should be donated. Venus, we have covered. For the purpose of Saturn, once again, tools are to be donated. But there is a difference between the Martian tools and there is a difference between this. Martian tools are rather modern. Modern tools which, in, which take a supply of power are the Martian donations and self-working tools which work all on themselves such as scissor is a certain donation, scissor, hammer and all these things which work all on themselves don't need an extra power supply is a certain donation. Okay. For Rahu and Ketu you can donate anything. Because for the purpose of Rahu and Ketu to be honest with you, there is nothing specific that is mentioned with respect to Rahu and Ketu. Right? So I will rather go with depending on the Rashi, the donation should be made. Donation is for Bhautik remedies. Bhautik means things you need in life, you are not getting it. Money you are not getting, job you are not getting, promotion you are not getting, donation needs to. Daihik bodily remedies, if you want to do deficiency of vitamin A, deficiency of vitamin B diseases you are having. So having attire, wearing clothes, this needs to be done. Right. Now, other than that, there is one more category of remedy. Daivik, God-given. Let's understand the point. You are suffering a disease. Like I am having a little bit of cold. So is this God given? Is it Daivik? Or it is Daihik, self done. What it is? Bodily or God given? Bodily. Why? Due to carelessness, it okay, good, good. This is a good answer. This is bodily because it is happening because of carelessness. It's good. But if someone gets a bigger disease, so if you drink a lot of alcohol and you get a liver failure, it is a bodily disease. But if you don't drink a lot of alcohol and still you get a liver failure, like many women have breast cancer, it is very common, but I don't think they smoke. They don't. So in this category, because you are not doing the work which is supposed to give you this particular result, it is a God-given problem. For God-given problem, if you are earning money, spending all of your money into alcoholism, friendship, etc. And then you are having penury out of it, you have created it. But if you are not getting chances of earning money, you have not good, good education, God have given you this. So I think, you know, for many a people, remedies, I think, don't work. Many a people. Though it generally does not happen with our clients. 
but with a few of the students this you know this sometime happen i tell them some remedy and it like depending on when i talk to them it looks like it is not working on them so once on this matter me and abilasha we were talking so she told me ek to tum remedy kisi ko dete nahi ho this is very uncommon to i am an astrologer but i generally don't give remedy at all and secondarily she was saying ki agar tum kisi ko remedy de do to tumhare to fifth house mein jupiter sun ka influence hai bhai tumhari remedy na kaam kare this cannot happen but still this happens this happens do i don't give remedies to people i will make a prashna and i if i see that you will not do the remedy i will not give you the actual remedy lalebi as an astrologer you have to give a lalebi to everyone you know there was a gardener in front of my home yesterday he saw my board he is like sir you are jyotish tell me my fortune maine kaha baap re baap isko jyotish isko batao main road pe whatever and just let's understand a point if you are doing a bad karma if you are getting money but you are not managing it properly if you actually want to break your marriage if you are very careless about your health the spiritual remedy will not work because now it is a dahik bodily remedy you are doing it bodily problem you are creating it so whatever remedy i give you because i always give daivi godly remedies because what i believe because i believe everyone is like me that you take care of things you do good karmas and after that if you are going into a problem you should do a daivi remedy daivi remedy god based remedy worshiping the god chanting the mantra doing the stotra visiting the temple bathing the god multiple things are there there is sudarsha upachar you know so bathing the god slash cleaning the temple now there are many religions which do not bathe the god such as christianity sikhism right they don't bathe the god so they clean the temple basically right this happens i i don't know it happens in christianity or not it happens in sikhism at least i know that so who don't bathe they do this serve god propagate about god propagate good books about god do the mantra do the stotra all right visualize on the image of god meditate on god listen to the stories of god educate people about god educating people about god happens very strongly in hinduism and muslim muslim religion i think right these are all godly remedies this is used when you are not given something this is gods who are not giving you things because you have done some karma in previous lives now you cannot undo or redo that karma in this particular life so this is the best remedy that you should go with but still this remedy cannot work provided the fact you yourself are creating the problem in that particular scenario the daihik remedy that i have just told you wearing the cloth of the dt wearing the wearing the type of cloth eating the type of food consuming things yourself having attire like a planet will help you and in this category i go a level deep down because see you are doing the problem you are creating you are the problem basic point now because you are the problem what you can do you can eat the food. i have told you to donate it but you can eat it right you can eat it you know saturn is giving you an iron related problem so have iron capsules you are living in 21st century you are not living in a medieval world right so that's fine you eat that food yourself you wear that colored clothes yourself you have that attire for yourself the attire of the planet we will come to the attire of planet but the best thing that you can do is learning jyotish as i always say doctor will study disease and he will cure a disease through medication so you study fortune to make people more fortunate and why it is essential for people to learn jyotish you know in gurukul it was essential for everyone to learn it right like today it is essential for you to learn english up to the eighth standard of the school because you are have you are going to talk in this language 
not because we are going to be Shakespeare or Keats for that matter. Right. So you have to learn a little bit of Jyotish for two purposes. First purpose, because if you want to find a good muhurta for anything, you know, many things happen in life. If you want to find a good muhurta, you should be able to find it yourself, at least muhurta for small things. Muhurta for lending money, muhurta for letting someone enter your home, muhurta for cooking food, eating food and these things. At least you should be able to do it yourself because this muhurta for this muhurta running to astrologer every time does not seem to be feasible. However, still muhurta for getting married, muhurta for having a child, etc. This astrologer will only do. And the second point is when I tell you Saturn is creating problem. This is for astrologer to decide. This is not for you to decide. This is for the astrologer to decide that Saturn is creating problem. You should be able to identify what is the problem that Saturn creates. And you should be able to eradicate the problem. If Saturn is in the Lagana, the problem that Saturn is creating is rather than favoring your well-wisher, you are favoring another person. If Saturn is somehow influencing the Lagana, this is the biggest problem. You don't favor your person, you favor another one. You favor the one who is right. This is wrong. You favor the one who stand by your side. Don't favor the one who is right. That's the only problem that you have to understand. Because Saturn does that. Right? Today, I fight. Today, someone fight with their wife. Say it. To help a beggar, you help them, he become happy, he will go home. But your wife, my friend, is permanent. You should understand this point. This is what Saturn makes you understand. And multiple things, multiple men do multiple things. It's just an example, right? The same goes for other planets, right? When I say you that Mercury is creating problem, you know, taking things lightly is creating problem. You should take things seriously. How to avoid it, how to make yourself think like Mercury, how to come out of the negative results of Mercury. If you don't know that, how will you control Mercury? So identification what a planet is doing with your mind and controlling it is very necessary. And you know what? This is the particular reason anyone asks me, sir, can I learn astrology? I tell them yes. As you can learn English, as you can learn walking, as you can learn driving, you can learn Jyotish also. The point is, can you learn it from me? For that, you need some qualification. Otherwise, the Jyotish anyone can learn. That is all okay. Right? And you should learn Jyotish because you know what? Me as an astrologer, no matter what consultation I derive, no matter what I do, I cannot get into your head. No matter how much you, I have, you know what? I have clients who consult me every day. Let me be very honest with you. Morning, since I wake up up to two, there are seven, eight people whom I consult every day, 15 minute call every day. And they will say, sir, today we have to do this, 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 tomorrow, this, this, this happened. And they will be everything about, sir. I have talked to this person. This is what is going into my mind. I wife ko shopping bhi leke jana hai. Kab leke jayenge? Kal CMC meeting hai. Kitne bhi jagah time mangu PA se. CMC se aap time kya hi mangoge? All these things, right? This we have done for the clients wanting their better, right? But no matter how much you cannot, you just cannot guide the person in everything cannot do that no matter how how what type of consultation you have there are many consultations options that are not on website because i think if i put on a website everyone will start taking it but whatever but you cannot get into their head you know despite telling people despite talking to people every day for 15 minutes next day you find out they had done a bizarre mistake If someone from the CM office called them that you come 4 p.m. tomorrow and they said yes. 
I scolded the guy very badly today morning. That why? You must have asked me first, na? Tomorrow 4 p.m. or you tell him, sir, please schedule for some other day. At least you can do that. But this is the wrong decision taken. Now I cannot help it. No one can do. Are you getting my point? So it is essential for you yourself to learn astrology. Know about the planet. So when this is happening, when, you, when uh, Mercury is influencing your 10th house, you know that it reply, before replying any professional mail, taking any professional decision, just don't do it right away. No matter how much temptation is coming, stop. Think for some time, then do. And think properly. Don't waste the time. Think. The problem with people having their mercury influencing their 10th house, when you tell them, hey, let's don't do it today, do it tomorrow. They forget about the work. They don't think about it. And tomorrow they do spontaneously anything. When I have told you not to do anything today, that means for the next 24 hour, think over it. Don't forget. They don't understand this point. So this is another particular reason. So I think in the bodily remedy section, where the problem is dahik, bodily, the most important part is you understand the planet who is influencing, you understand the planet who is creating the problem and you understand what type of problem. If moon is into the sixth house, your disease is small. You're thinking that this can happen, that can happen, what, how I will do this, how I will do that is creating the problem. Right. So you're thinking you will mold. Things will start changing right there from and you should know that moon in the sixth house is generally will give me a problem while you know what? I have moon in sixth house. Okay. Whenever you travel before that you meet with small accidents. Generally, you will brush your teeth and put the toothpaste in your gum and you will put a problem into it. This will 80% of the time happen. Moon influencing your sixth house, this will happen. So anything that I have to do, brushing, brushing, shaving, waving before traveling, I do it 12 hours before. The very thing, not after that. Because this small incident, just a toothache, will do everything very bad. So prepare in advance. And now how much time I will keep on telling it to someone or you will keep keep on telling it to someone. Getting my point? So you have to get under the gut of the planet. Understand how it is working, control it. Then the bodily problems that the planet are creating, your issues will go. And only once you stop creating problem, gods can come and help you. 